Lilith is finally fixing everyone's number one problem with Rise of Kingdoms. That's right, lag. Join me to learn more about this crazy new update. What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms gameplay episode from your very own Shappy Gaming, and today we are going to be covering some of the footage that was shared by Lilith pertaining to the new update that is coming to Rise of Kingdoms, and most importantly, the visuals in battle and the frame rates. One of my number one frustrations, and I'm sure yours too, with Rise of Kingdoms is the fact that as you play this game, when there are big battles like this, there are crashes everywhere. I've had it crash on my computer. I've had it crash on my phone. I've had it crash on my iPad. Lag and crashes are the, one of the number one frustrations for Rise of Kingdoms. And if you actually go through and you look at the App Store reviews, this is something that comes up all of the time. And let's play a clip from one of my previous videos where I start, started talking about some of the crazy stuff with this update. I'm excited about this. I hope that it delivers all the results that we want it to. I've heard mixed things about the actual Call of Dragons experience when we talk about lag and King's Land and things like that, but I don't know how much worse it can get. And we're back. So as you can see, I was skeptical about all of this great news that was coming out around the lag improvements to Rise of Kingdoms. But I have to say Lilith brought the receipts. Let's actually watch through some of this footage that they shared of past one battles. These are about 100 different troops that are battling, and you'll notice that they don't have simplified graphics on. More importantly, you can see the FPS there stays just above 50 almost the entire time, whereas in the Legacy version, you can see that it almost never even breaks 50, which is pretty substantial. And honestly, looking through some of the footage originally, I was really doubtful of the quality of the graphics and how true they were going to stay to the Rise of Kingdoms thematic elements. However, it looks pretty similar to what we have today. Like, just taking a look at it, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I think it looks right. I think it looks like Rise of Kingdoms. And honestly, the fact that we're getting 10 frames more is pretty good because A, it's going to mean that you could retreat faster, which we all love. And B, it's going to mean that you can target your targets and not just get pulled into a murder ball. Now, it is also worth calling out, they tested this on a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. There will be some variability. This is an Android device, not an iOS device. I want to see more. I want to see this on iOS. I want to see how this experience actually looks and works on iOS. Because iOS is one of the bigger user bases, especially in the United States. So that's one thing that I have a little bit of pause about. But overall, this is great news. Let's see exactly what they say here. You get a 16.17% improvement on the remastered version than you do on the legacy, which is actually great. Um, that's a huge improvement. I'm excited to see how this works in real time. Perhaps most importantly though, something they mentioned within this clip is also your battery optimization. Everyone's been there. You've been playing Rise of Kingdoms for all day. You have a pass opening and your device is getting hot as heck in your hands and you have to plug it in, the battery optimization is a really big deal here because it actually means that you're using less processing power for the Rise of Kingdoms experience, meaning you can play longer without necessarily have to worry about it. So this is a huge improvement. This is just a you know, pass one battle, not a big deal. How does this actually work in the battles that all of us are worried about, which is like you know, Ziggurat, KBK passes, etc. cetera? Uh, they actually provided footage for us here of Lost Temple battles. Now, what they did here is they have 300 different marches going through the battles, and this is without Simplify Graphics on. All of us play with Simplify Graphics on, or we pay in dot mode, so you can expect these performance improvements to probably carry over there as well, meaning that you're going to get even more control than you've ever had before, especially if you're paying on something like BC. So let's see how this actually looks. Uh, I wanna see the visuals. You'll notice here the reskin of the Lost Temple. I think it looks good. But what's also crazy is these are battles like you're actually not really seeing, <laughs> typically. I feel like the battle is spread out more than usual. I feel like there's a lot going on. You've got AOE skill effects going on. But you have 42 frames per second. Now, you have to also keep in mind, what does 42 frames per second actually mean? Well, typically, 
if something is below 30 frames per second, you're going to feel lag. If it's above 40 frames per second, you're probably not going to notice unless there's a big drop. So like if something drops eight frames or something, you're going to notice. But overall, this looks pretty good. And again, this is on an Android. And originally, you're actually seeing only four frame rate gain there, which makes me a little nervous when it comes to these bigger battles. But again, my hope is that with the battery optimization, I'm going to see less crashes in these big battles because honestly, that's the worst. We've all opened the app to see Fate Changer. I'm not a fan. So hopefully that makes a difference. Let's look at how this actually works with simplified graphics before we make our final judgment. So here we can see that the there's a huge FPS jump. You went from 38 all the way up to 46 there. See if I could pull that back. 38 to 47, that's 10 frame rates. That's a huge percentage improvement, right? And this is really what most of us are fighting in. We're going to be using simplified graphics mode. It's probably just going to turn on automatically. But this is huge. These are big performance improvements, which I know aren't the most glamorous of things, but it's a really big deal as we talk about how we want Rise of Kingdoms to look. So as you can see, you get a 10.5% improvement there. Let's pull that back up. 10.5% improvement just in this experience. Now, something else they covered in this video is that they're also making some of the older devices better. As we talked about with the battery usage, what they're doing is optimizing your processing power and your RAM on device. And so the, this improvement is only 10.5% on this device. Again, this is a Snapdragon 3. For lower end devices, you may actually see even more performance improvements by percentage because of the fact that they have a weaker processor. And so by downgrading this, you're actually going to be getting better performance even out of that. So you're not gonna to have to upgrade as frequently and all of your devices across the spectrum are going to have a little bit more of a fair fight. So honestly, I'm pretty pumped about this update. I think these performance improvements demonstrate that Lil is putting their money where their mouth is. Let me know in the comment section below, do you think that this is going to make a big difference for you? Are you excited about it? And do you think this is a good update? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notified when new episodes come out. I will be getting access to the test server for this. So if you have things you want me to test when I'm in there, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you all. Chappy out.